When I entered King's Fall for the first time, I was not expecting to leave with Touch Malice, so I might as well put this RNG to good use and make a build. I was trying to figure out what would work best with Touch Malice. Obviously, my first thought was Void. Devour seems like the perfect pairing for a weapon that's literally trying to kill you, but that's been done before. So, I then thought about Laurelly Splendor and realized that that's pretty much Devour but on Titan. So, that got me thinking about an exotic armor piece that I haven't seen in a long, long time. Boosty the Assembler. Not only do they give you the ability to shoot forever, but they also help the team by sending out little healing orbs. So if you don't know, the boots generate noble seekers while you're standing in a rift. In this case, it'll be a healing rift, obviously. So, those seekers will seek out nearby teammates, not in a rift, and heal them. This will then extend the timer of the rift you're in. The whole point is to put down your rift, the seekers heal your teammates, and you get to shoot touch and malice to your heart's content. As you can tell in the gameplay, you never have to stop shooting, unless you need to put down a new rift. And when that happens, you'll want to do that immediately. So, to make sure of that, you'll want to be on Solar. There's a very important fragment called Ember of Benevolence. This states, when applying Restoration, Cure, or Radiant to a teammate, you gain increased grenade, melee, and class ability regen. This means when those little orbs heal someone, you'll get your rift back very quick. It also procs when someone enters your rift too. Essentially, the gameplay loop is, put down rift, shoot gun, Keep shooting gun. More shooting of gun. If rift gone, put down new rift. Shoot gun more. At no point are you going to be at zero health and without damage bump of touch. Plus, you get to hear your teammates while you have fun decimating everything with Oryx's soul. The only downside is you're locked to your own rift. Not to mention, when you use your super, those seekers will still appear and seek anyone outside of it. This build is both selfish and selfish. Selfish because you get to use a fun gun forever, and selfless because you hear your teammates without even trying. Plus, the damage you put in from Touch of Mouse is then buffed by Well of Radiance, and then add in any special and heavy weapon you want for even more damage output. It's a full kit for the majority of the content in the game, except solo content, since that's where it begins to fall flat, because, well, there's no teammates in solo content, it's just you, alone. So that's when Devour and Lorely Splendor is probably going to be the best bet. That's the build, and it's surprisingly simple. All you need is a fragment and two exotics. The mods can be whatever you want. I went with healing from solar elemental wells. So if you're lucky enough to have touch and mouse, I highly recommend trying this build out. And if you are unfortunately still trying to get it, I wish you the best of luck.